Hi, my name is Blair Lehman, Product Service Manager at Komatsu. In this episode of instructional videos on hydraulic breakers, I'll provide some tips on periodic maintenance and how that can help you minimize long-term costs and keep your operation running smoothly by reducing downtime. It's best to perform weekly maintenance checks according to the recommendations defined in your breakers operations and maintenance manuals. The following steps are for a 40-hour check that should be done in the field. The first step is to remove the tool and grease from the chuck housing. Do not use a pressure washer, steam, or solvents to clean the tool as they can damage the seals. Then check for chips or cracks inside the housing and the bushing surfaces. Chips or cracks can indicate there's not enough lubrication or the grease type isn't the right kind. It can also indicate that your tool is blank firing, side loading, or has been improperly used. Blank firing can ruin the breaker. Also, check for wear on the tool retainers. Examine the shoulders and side surfaces. If they are worn or deformed, rotate or replace them as required. Next, check the wear on the bushing. Replace the tool, bushing, or both when the combined wear exceeds the manufacturer recommendation. Some bushings are grooved to provide even grease distribution. Some breakers come with a wear gauge. If the grooves are worn through, it's time to replace the bushings. Too much bushing wear can cause tool misalignment to the piston and cause premature breaker failure. A good rule of thumb is to always replace damaged or worn parts as soon as possible. When you're done, wipe all components clean, including the lubrication port, hand grease the tool, and the chuck bushings before placing it back into the breaker. To see more in this series of hydraulic breaker videos, you can visit us at komatsu.com.